Assalamu alaikum, dear group members of Al Abad Academy and the pupils of Prasad Education Center. Today, by utilizing the information in macroisles.com, we prepared this video for you to learn how to write bar graph in IELTS exam writing task 1. Our lesson consists of actually four parts, introduction, overall, body paragraph, comparisons and special facts. However, today we will learn both of them. That's introduction and overall. First of all, first of all, I should speak about you overall and the introduction part is written in three sentence. Before writing the before writing the essay describing the bar graph, we should look at the chart and the task. The task is said the chart below shows the percentage of young people at universities in six countries in 2000 and 2007. If you look at the chart, you look six countries in two years. That's 2000 and 2007. Now, in order to write the first sentence, we should follow the following advice. First sentence, begin writing the introduction. First of all, focus on the question, the diagram, and understand the meaning behind. Secondly, speak out one line with the data. In this case, 38% of the Italian youth were enrolled in universities in 2000. Uh, if you look at the diagram, on the window, you may see 38% of the Italian youth were enrolled in universities in 2000. Thirdly, write the introduction. Try paraphrasing if possible. If can't, don't overthink and just make minor changes. That's while writing the bar graph. If you, if you count paraphrasing the given task, you may change the noun into verb or you may change the verb into noun. Or Adjective into Edward, Edward into Adjective. Now look at the window. You will see the first sentence example. The bar graph illustrates the proportion of yours from six countries studying in universities in 2000 and 2007. There is a there is a paraphrasing sentence. And the next sentence is the next sentence. This second sentence begins writing the overall. In order to write the overall, focus on the maximum in each year individually, meaning First, look at the first bar in each country. Ignore the second. The first bar is 2000. That's blue color. It's in Finland. Accounts for 
Then look at the second part. In each country, ignore the first. At this time, we should choose the highest level. In, in 2007, the highest level in Poland, that's 78% of young people enrolled at universities. And the next sentence, that's sentence two, consists of the following words. Overall, it's clear that among the given countries, Finland had the maximum proportion of youths enrolled in universities in the 2000, while in 2007 the maximum percentage was from Poland. Why do we use while in order to combine the two year? Since remember, use contrasts like while. Because in both years, country is different. And the next sentence is written like this. First of all, make a sentence which represents the trend for every country. That's increase, decrease, increase, decrease, increase. Stability. Please note how the word exit has been used to bring out the comparison. Since all of the country, the all of, in all of the country, the percentage of yours enrolled at universities were changing, except Finland. This sentence is expressed in sentence 3. That's there was change in the proportion of youth enrolled studying in universities in all the countries except Finland. Doing that, our lesson will finish. Next lesson, we shall learn how to write body paragraph Now, if you like this video, don't remember to subscribe our channel. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. See you again.